Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to explore. As you saw up there, I'm at Galveston Island State Park. Man, the Gulf is rough today. And hopefully that overcast is gonna clear out. Let me get back up here so you can hear me better. Seven years ago, we came to Galveston Island State Park. It's the second place that I picked up the camera to show you the stuff. Of course, I didn't talk about the stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. I hadn't figured out my formula. Since then, Galveston Island State Park got washed away. And then there was the Horizon oil spill. And that funneled a lot of money into the Texas Gulf Coast because of all the environmental damage. And some of that money was used to rebuild Galveston Island State Park. And man, did they do a great job. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to get in into my campsite. I'm a little bit early. I'm going to deploy a little red. And we're going to go see all this new stuff at Galveston Island State Park. And there's quite a bit of new stuff to see. And hopefully the, the cloud cover will break sooner rather than later. I don't have Trudy Thunder with me. And the reason I'm here is because Trudy had to go back to the shop because that floor they put down started wrinkling and it looked really bad. <laughs> so a second trip to the dealership in Houston, actually spring, to fix what should have been done, to fix what wasn't done correctly. I'll leave it at that. But that's given me the opportunity to show you some cool stuff. Galveston Island State Park. We're getting, we're getting a little better light. I'm in my campsite. I got my camp mostly set up. So let me, let me show you these awesome campsites. They're, yeah, they're kind of close together, but they're well staggered. Uh, I think they, they really thought this out. They thought it out very well. They did a great job. Every site has a shade cover and a what am I trying to say and a fire pit but that is currently off limits there's even a burn ban here on Galveston Island 30 50 and water on the pedestal this is kind of a cool pedestal power points are on the side see over here you got your 50 you got your 30 and then you got your breakers and then your 15 and then water and a place to coil your extra hose super flat you can see he's got a little block on one side they do have to put some slope so that water will run off but most of the the rvs out here are sitting on their own wheels they're not won't be jawed so the, they actually provide you with big eye hooks so that you can string up a tarp because man the wind is wind is blowing something fierce today and in my kitchen i would not be able to cook on propane if the wind is blowing <laughs> like it is and here at the back i'm using the hasika teepee tent for this journey I have the, the bell tent with me, but I wanted more ventilation. I wanted to take advantage of this sea breeze. The Hatsika tent actually has two doors. One of them can be just a, a window. I brought the refrigerator inside because I'm going to be doing some running around in the truck. Disc. And I'm using the new foam 
mattress that really cool four inch foam mattress it takes up a lot of space when you roll it up i mean because this <laughs> is big uh but it's it, it's not like an air mattress where it's shifting around i mean you lay down on it and you're you're good to go you're very comfortable i really like that foam mattress and if you've not seen the friday's finds episode you need to go back in time and or go to the friday's fine playlist and you'll see that mattress and this tent so that's camp i'm gonna I'm gonna get a bite to eat, then we'll deploy a little red and we'll go see some Galveston Island State Park stuff. So I fired up a little gas grill <laughs> and the grackles have come to call. I thought I needed to worry about the seagulls. Seagulls are like rats with wings. I don't know what you'd call grackles. <laughs> they're almost, they're even worse. Just know, when you're here, watch for the birds. Don't leave food laying out. One of the things I'm really happy to see is the accessibility is so much better than it was on my last visit. Now there's, there's a little bit of drifted sand that I don't want to get into again right now because I've got one hand on the camera. But that's a, a handicap accessible platform for the beach. That is awesome. And there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this is a very beautiful, very beautiful shower bathroom facility. And look. There's more than enough room in that one. And it works. You have a, a bench. And nothing like a new state park. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Best handicap tent sites I have ever seen. Power to operate any medical equipment you may have with you. A wood platform to set the tent up on that you can actually just roll right up on. There are cleats in place so you can tie the tent down. And look at that view! All right, text that the the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department they did a great job. Right next to the water sprinkler or water fountain. Doesn't look like anybody's here. Knock, knock. Brand new. Fire pit still has the thing in it. That's so cool. Adirondack chairs, a table. Another table. That is awesome. I, sh I, I could have tent camped here. I, I didn't have to bring all my stuff, but I didn't know. Now you know. There's a lot of opportunity for tent camping here at Galveston Island State Park. If you don't want to be so close to the water, you can come out here. Of course, you're closer to the highway. Let's go see some more stuff. Up until they rebuilt the, the campground, the RV campground, basically the whole state park. Prior to that, if you wanted to camp in the RV, in an RV close to the beach, this was where you would set up. It's dry camping. No power, no water, but you could walk right down to the beach. Whereas now, you get the best of both worlds. Power, water, and you can walk down to the beach. All right, let's go see some more stuff. During peak season, or maybe even on the weekends, I don't know, there's, I don't see any hours. But you can rent 
bicycles, recumbent bicycles. And chairs and umbrellas, so you can sit on the beach. Looks like we might have some rain coming. Check that out. Water on lo ice on location. It's three dollars for a ten-pound bag. So you get twenty pounds for five dollars. All right. So if you're wanting to do day use things. They've got lots of picnic shelters. And by golly, they even have some group shelters. I see at least three of these. go see some more stuff you want to rinse off the beach and change what does the sign say the use of soap shampoo and or conditioner is prohibited this is only to rinse off we don't want to damage the environment after all all right let's go see some more stuff let's go ah, let's just scoot right down here to see the beach pick up after your dogs Oh, this one's even better than the other one by the, the campground. Check this out. Elevating. How awesome is that? That's pretty, that, that right there is pretty cool. So if you don't want to go to the campground restroom, Look, granite countertops. <laughs> this is over by the day use area. Full showers. A big, beautiful handicap shower. It's not quite as spacious as the other one, but it'll work. They did a great job on this remodel. Let's go find some more stuff. So if you want a tent camp, but you don't want all the wind coming off the ocean off the Gulf on the bay side there is a tent camping primitive camping area every site has water but no power the crazy thing is that's the only restroom shower facility for this side of the state park There's not a restroom at the RV loop, which is where we're headed next. The RV loop, and it's literally a circle, the RV loop on the bay side, it, it's a little different. So they're water and electric sites, and they're laid out in a flower. Wow, the, the last time I was here, the bay came up right up to the edge. And there's a big group pavilion. What's, what's really interesting is that the charcoal cookers and the fire pits are in the middle. You don't have those at your campsite. Let's go see some kayaks. On my last visit to Gal uh, Galveston Island State Park, this was actually a boat ramp. Actually, it was right here. And now, you can do boat rentals or kayak rentals from the Texas Camp Company. You actually have to go on their website and 
make your reservations and they'll bring it to you if i read that correctly and then we have a, a kayak launch point Galveston Island State Park Paddling Trail. All right, let's go see some more Galveston Island stuff. If you're wanting to do some bayside fishing at Galveston State Park, they got you covered. Literally, they got you covered. Doesn't look like anyone's catching any fish right now. So let's go see some more stuff. Once again, ignorance of the law strikes. And state park personnel tried to deny me access. Don't let anybody deny you access if you're mobility challenged. I just flat out told her. <laughs> yeah, I, I can go wherever I want on this. Anyway. Nature Center is closed. So I'm gonna do a scooter run. How you doing? Wonderful. We'll get up here and we'll have a look and see. Yeah, it looks like we might be able to get out there. So I'm not exactly sure where the clapper rail trail, I mean the Eskimo curlew. Oh, wait a minute. That's the Eskimo curlew. We're on the clapper rail trail. thought this was really interesting. You can borrow a beach wheelchair. There's no fee. They just want you to make sure they're returned by the end of business day. I went in and bought a, a ball cap to help support the state park. If you've not ever been to the beach, you might find it helpful to know about the flag warning system. You, you can pause it and read. Okay. I'm gonna head back to camp. And we'll figure out what else we're going to do. Well, the sun is out. It is a new day. And the wind is coming out of the north. And it was, it was exciting. Yeah, it was exciting last night. You'll notice the bell tent is up and the green tent is missing in action. So last night when the wind shifted, uh, it literally, uh, there was a gust. The tarp that I had spread it, stretched across there literally just blew off and was hanging and flapping in the wind like a big flag and it was a at least a 20 mile an hour wind if not more steady with these pulses and while i was trying to furl that thing up so that it quit popping my stuff is blowing across <laughs> off the table the green tent literally a, a downburst just poof flattened it broke snapped the pole in half so i and it started raining about that time i scrambled got everything out of the tent stuffed in the truck that started that it all started about one o'clock uh at two o'clock the wind the, the system had moved through and the wind and the rain had stopped and so i pitched the bell tent at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and then this morning just kind of regrouped and 
But the sun is shining, the wind is blowing from a different direction, so hopefully the the fish is good and I think I may have broke a toe last night. <laughs> I don't know, it, it just hurts. But anyway. I'm gonna go see if I can catch some fish and feel better. Galveston Island State Park. It's all about the beach. Turned out to be a beautiful day, but I haven't been worth it. <laughs> I haven't been able to think at all today because I was up all night fighting tents. Anyway, beautiful place. I haven't caught anything at all today. Day three, Corpus Christi Island State Park. I haven't been able to do a whole lot. And, and here's why. I mentioned this uh, and, and I'm, I'm just, I'm not complaining. Things happen. But in the, in the other night when I was scrambling to get all my stuff out of the rain and, and set up the tent in the dark, I had two things, two different things at two different times <laughs> fall on that toe. And yesterday it was so bad I, I could hardly even walk. Uh, I'm a little bit better today, uh, but fortunately I had most of the everything done day one but the lighting was horrible. So you're gonna, I'm sorry. That's what happens. Anyway, we'll close it out in the morning. Good morning. Well, we are at the end of our visit to Galveston Island State Park. The, the newly renovated Galveston Island State Park. I'm happy to report this is now a really cool state park to camp in. You know, there's not a whole lot of stuff like playground equipment, and, but you know, you've got the kayak and stuff rental from the, the private vendor. What this park has going for it now is a great RV loop. Fantastic RV sites. I'm, I, this just ideal. They, they put a lot of thought into this, R, this new RV loop couple of detractors one is you know you're on the coast it's always windy here so be prepared for lots of wind and I mean really prepared because I wasn't my first night and that that green tent just it didn't survive that those two massive gusts of wind but I wasn't the only tent camper that had that issue there were there were just about every tent in the campground with two exceptions that suffered damage from that wind and those two exceptions one was a, a bell tent like i have which i should have set that up from the beginning lesson learned uh and the other one was a, a unique geodome it was magellan of some kind looked kind of like a clamshell both of those weathered it quite well and then once I got the, once I set the bell tent up here, I, I was, I was good. I was solid. So come prepared for the wind. Uh, be advised there's a lot of road noise because that's the, the, the only highway, only road on the island. So there's a lot of traffic. And if you are planning on doing any surf fishing, if there's a bunch of seaweed washed up, don't bother putting a hook in the water because you'll spend all your time cleaning the seaweed off your hook. I really think this is a now a must-see Texas State Park. It's just it, the bathroom facilities are phenomenal <laughs> for, a, for a state park. Bring your kayak. There's lots of paddling trails here uh, and lots of opportunity to fish in the bay from the state park. Of course, if you get outside of the boundaries of the state park, you are required to have a Texas uh, fishing license but if you're in the the park even on the beach you don't have to have a fishing license but you do need to pay attention to the laws 
regarding limits, size limits, uh, especially size limits. And if you're fishing for red drum, you make you want to make sure you have a red drum tag. So I really think you need to plan on coming to visit the newly renovated Galveston Island State Park. Whether you're a tent camper or an RV camper, there's there's something here for you. That brings us to the end of our our visit. As far as there wasn't a whole lot of stuff, I can barely, I can hardly walk, so that really limited what I could do the last two days with the beautiful sunshine. We will do better on the next one. If you've not already, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That touches my heart. And if you if you see me in a campground, don't hesitate to walk up and say hi. I love meeting my, my followers. And I, I love hearing how my work is helping you. That, that is why I do what I do. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. That's why, that's why I get to come out here and see this. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, thank you. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?